Scorpio, welcome back. We're here to do your update for November 2023. Yes, we have the Feather Titan, which I have made reference to in 90% of the videos. And especially it's very relevant for your star sign. Um, noting that we are moving through eclipse season, we just moved through the Scorpionic energy. We're moving towards November into the next eclipse, which I believe is occurring around the 8th. It is open to the public. I do have a webinar that I host by the website and open to the platform on YouTube. So if you want to see that, you can go through and it will discuss the areas that it lands for you at a personal level with both of those eclipses. Now, with the Feather Titan, what I am seeing coming through in November is we did go through this rebirth and it still can be continuing, really moving through the month of November. It's becoming very intentional. We can be a little bit vengeful at the moment due to the transits. And my guides are showing me um, that we particularly can feel a little bit uh, nervous and feeling like, you know, Gaia source has left us. Where is the positivity? Where is the light? You're going to find by mid-month it can start picking up and it can be a bit more adventurous. But initially, there can be this shake-up that is occurring and it's feeling like the floor is lava. Now, the feather totem with both the black, which you particularly may not be able to see the black so much with the lighting, and the orange is Stig Sacral Chakra. Now, you may have, again, you can feel quite burnt out during the day. Um, there can be agitation with the sacral chakra. It can be overactive, moving into... Uh, I think the overactive is more going to be in the evening when you're trying to unwind, especially for you as a Scorpio. But then during the day, you're going to find you're feeling very fatigued, very sluggish, and there can be a lack of motivation, lack of clarity. Um, there can be potentials of overindulgence moving towards the eclipse and Taurus. So keep that in mind, but also do a lot of journaling so that you can dive deep into what you feel um, is that are these changes that are coming both within your power and both without your power. Now, the Tarot deck that we're going to be using was a gift to me for my birthday. So my daughter, Shanice, gave this Tarot deck to me. So if you do want to purchase it or you want to know what Tarot deck I'm using, it's this. And very separately, we do have the mask placements that will affect until well and truly around, oh, I would say, if first four months of 2023. So it's still going to be very relevant. It's going to be one of those transits that's quite long, but it will discuss how your star sign will be impacted. Now, without further ado, let's get into the channel messages for your star sign, both love and general, and anything else, any guidance I feel you'll need. The crystal that you have this month, Okay. I am smart. I am open to learning something new. We're probably going to need to because we're having a rebirth. So it's almost like this anxiousness attachment. Particularly, we may find um, ourselves feeling like the deer in the woods. And oh, I want to go back to something that was old. It feels safer. It feels more stable. But something in us is changing. And so, yet again, it's going to be a new way of addressing these areas in our life, especially for you at a personal level. You, the older you get, will be comfortable with this frequency. Younger energy um, may feel a little bit more less equipped with the frequency of the transits at the moment. Clear thinking, release the mind chatter, maintain courage and self-confidence, recognize your own intelligence, ease with problem solving. So if there is something that you're trying to address this month and you're feeling really overwhelmed, I feel that you're really looking at self-worth energy, I do feel. Now, the reason I say that is because we do have the heart chakra and there is a situation where you're trying to get balanced. It could have been after the eclipses. It's like, okay, who is this new generation of me? Who is this new vibration? I do particularly feel some of you could be dropping bad habits. You might be looking at your image, um, the way you feel about yourself, the way you show up in the world. And you could be a little bit perplexed. For some of you, you may have had a revelation last month that the old you is dead and gone. So read it all right. It's almost like, okay, that's not the vibration of who I am any longer. But there could be particularly people around you that are having an expectation. Could it come from family? Yes, because moon is family. Could it also be coming through in your lineage and your conditioning of where you should be right now in your life potentially? So sit with it. And anything that's outdated, your guides are showing you, you do have the power orange to actually transform this energy, but attempt to use your sacral chakra, your inner power, 
very effectively this month. Now, I know this to be true, A, because we have a lot of Mars energy, B, because as a psychic and an intuitive reader, all your cards are talking about a major change, but a necessity to use your power effectively, okay? So you have the emperor in your overall arching energy in reverse. Uh, you know, with this, I do feel the potential of you in your everyday life, you in your love life, you in your career, you in your choices that you're making. This is the overall energy. There is almost this notion of power that you're going to have, but you need to use it, again, very effectively. You may feel you may be in a position of power and yes, like I mentioned, there could be a little bit of frustration and feeling, you know, the old me is still gone, but people are having expectations. I'm feeling guilt relating to a circumstance. It can crop up this month and agitation also. I do feel you're going to be looking at how you can use your energy resourcefully how, can, how you can use your position of power in your life correctly. And there also may have been some revelations of giving your power away in certain areas of your life. A strictness, I should have been in this position in life. You know, something should have come to an end by now. Why hasn't this moved? And I do feel universe does have your back, but I do feel particularly you are going to be in a place of power, point blank zero, but it's about using it effectively to get your success this month. In the area of love, you do have the star card. Now, there, it can look rosy, but it can get a little bit transformative. And so if we have a particular ideal of how love will show up, what it will look like, how it will turn out, you know, that notion, it could be the notion of perfectness. Things do change, and it doesn't mean to say that has to bring the tower down in your love life, but you can have sudden changes happening in that domain, as well as seeing another person's um, experience. Some of you relating to love may find that there are changes going on with that individual that do happen quite quickly, um, <clears throat> quite quickly. That's what they're saying. I do feel overall it's also saying Try to not give your power away. Look at the situation with the emperor in reverse. Very realistically, try to not put people on pedestals. Try to not rip them down also. Try to understand the status quo. Definitely look at the potential, I would say. But also try to go easy into this month because the eclipses do hit you quite hard. And these changes can make you anxious with all these brand new directions. But I do feel there's going to be a dramatic change in both your appearance and your love life really moving over the next six to 12 months, but kicking off this month. I do feel in your career at the moment, especially, you're going through a similar thing. So, yes, there could be workplace romances. There could be um, looking at transitions in careers. And you're coming through with the Seven of Cups. I absolutely love this card not the card itself in Tarot, but the um, imagery on it. I think it's quite stunning. It's very, um, how could we say it? It's very relevant to the current art coming through at the moment with the North Node um, in Taurus. I feel you could be changing your style. I feel you can be changing your approach at work. I feel that there are opportunities out there, but some of you could be looking at things be it it's a business you're running, be it it's a career you're investigating or wanting to go back to school. I feel you're trying to work out the best possible method to move forward. I do feel there can be some sense of, uh, you know, confusion maybe surrounding your career at the moment. There might be a lot going on, a lot to multitask with. Use your time management effectively. Because Mars is retrograde, you can find during the day you can feel quite tired and the daydream energy of a frequency can come through. I do feel with any decisions you need to make surrounding your career, if you're unsure, ask for help. If you're unsure, know and have faith in yourself that you are intelligent. Don't second guess yourself. But I also feel if you are at a crossroad with your career, it's okay to take your time. And that would be one of the biggest things I'll say because the next eclipse is hitting your seventh house. So what I'm seeing spiritually, 
is some of you could have a different position coming through. Some of you could decide, okay, this isn't stable, the floor is lava, I need to shift industries. I also feel the changes that you're wanting to make are also yours. It's like the intentions you're going in with, the hopes and dreams and aspirations, wanting to put that extra legwork in. I do feel ultimately you know that there is different ways you can address the circumstance. If you have been beating your head against a wall, I feel you're trying to make the, the healthiest decision. If you're feeling pressured, I feel this is where it might go a little bit pear-shaped. Some of you may be experiencing it could be, say, cultural. Yeah, yeah, you could. It's almost like vibes that aren't tribing, right? And if that's so, it may be that by you letting it go and saying, look, I'm showing up, I'm doing my job, I'm going home. That's what I'm here for. That could effectively assist. The other could be getting down to the root cause and having conversations. I do, for some of you, feel, though, not necessarily will that fix as much as we hope it will because we do have um, changes where people are going to be quite fixed in their feelings and maybe not want to budge. So I do feel it could put you at a catch-22, but I do feel there's a transition here. And what your big plan is, and I do feel it could be around a home, a location, a plan that you're making in the bigger picture of things, I do feel particularly you're saying, okay, with those hopes and dreams and aspirations in my life, with my love life, with where I feel my life is going, is this an alignment for me and is it my best course of action? But I do feel you're having all these great ideas and I feel they're really going to serve you. I do feel you're trying and you're tweaking new techniques. I also feel you're trying to go in with a positive um, standpoint with career. And where it does come to your wealth, some of you might have overspent. Now, that particularly could have been in the past eclipse due to the fact for you it was personal. It was, okay, maybe I want an image change. Maybe I want some beauty work. Maybe I want to um, get new clothing. Um, some of us also between the two eclipses are going to eat a little bit more. So pretty warm with that. Hopefully next year, you know, it, it can kind of settle down. I'm kind of thinking maybe not so, but more by mid-year it can do, okay? With this, I do feel ultimately when it does come to your wealth creation and the plan you're wanting to make, try to not go into the guilt of the past. And I feel this is shadow work. I feel this is belief systems. Be cautious also. Be tactical in your approach to do with what you're doing with your money. Really great time prior to the eclipse to update passwords, not go into risky situations. Be very disconcerning. Um, read your emails. If something seems too good to be true, it generally will be. So be very logical and practical. I do feel that's how you're coming into the month. I feel you're being more realistic and I feel that you, you're uninspired by a circumstance. You know, anything worth fighting for, even if you have a reserve of energy and it's very limited, you're definitely going to put your all into. So if there's something in your life at the moment that you're simply not resonating with, it may be that you've outgrown it. That can be your style. It can be like your clothing. It could be I'm not resonating with this anymore. Um, I also feel your pastimes are shifting as well and your style of life is evolving. I do particularly feel there can be some cross wires in love this month. I do feel it's going to dissipate, but I feel try to be very um, listen and then speak. And I feel that's what's going to work. For some of you, if you felt that a person that you're dealing with has kind of pulled back, I do feel some hidden truths are going to come to the forefront. Your guides are asking you at the moment with the romance card, because this is heart chakra. It is important right now to take a step back to spend some time alone instead of placing um, our focus on others. Now, it will be initially until the 8th it is so for you, where it is about you. It's it's me versus we. We comes up from the 8th onwards. After that, you will be assessing, okay, what is their standpoint, be it its love, be it its career, be it its friendship group. So you, you'll be forgiven if you are going through a two-week kind of phase of 
Yes, for some it can be victim consciousness. Yes, it can be, okay, what do I need to do with this? Critiquing ourselves. My hair's going in my face, so it's making my face itchy. Then after that, it's we, okay? Instead of placing a focus on others, best way to actually make a major decision is go, how is this making me feel? Now is the time to give to yourself, which is upgrading your energy, recharging, any vault work, energy of shadow work. What do I need to let go of? What did I feel? And then when you've summed it up, dare die read it, cast it to the wind, then we can move into this energy of this next phase. And I feel for you spiritually, you with the hidden, you're learning to trust your intuition but if something feels too good to be true, address it. If something needs to be spoken about, be open to speaking. Try to not make abrupt energy decisions. I would say especially in the first two weeks. I'm touching base with you guys again by mid-month. So come through and grab your mid-month edition. But ultimately I do feel the need to be cautious treading at the moment. It's not permanent. Don't make risky decisions. Trust your instincts. But don't look at everything as perfect. Be it it's love um, and we believe we're on the same page. It's okay to have those awkward conversations to gauge where things are at. Because I do feel these transformations and changes, um, romance may not be privy to this information in your life, but you also may not on their scope of things with these changes that are coming, I also feel some of you are feeling that notion that you're going to get left behind. And I don't feel you're going to get left behind. I do directly feel if there's a major decision and you feel rushed, the key to it is taking your time, making very, um, yeah, adult energy um, situations, but also pausing for a bit pausing and actually going into the inner child and the playfulness because I do feel with the full card um you'll know when the right time is to jump okay and that's what my guides are showing me so the thing that's hidden from you it could be some privy information it might be um something that you haven't com completely unpacked mentally do I don't I what I do feel is take your time and I feel it's not, it's it's just during the first two weeks and I do feel as you have unpacked it, I feel you'll be able to do that and jump in the deep end with the full information unpacked. Ultimately, I, I can see there are some major dynamics happening in the career sector and shifting and reshuffling for you. I also feel surrounding your family and understanding and a huge revelation is going to come. There could be a family meeting. Tell me if it happens, right? PM me on the lines. I do feel there is um, there's a big plan. Um, some of you I'm seeing a party. Some of you I'm seeing there's going to be some gifts showered upon you. I, I do feel you could end up being in a position of power, and I also feel especially if you had a goal, and you were like, right, this would make me happy. I, I do feel some of you are second guessing that at the moment. It's a little bit like, is this making me happy? Is this taking to my, me to my bliss? Do I want the added responsibility? Some of you ultimately are going to end up being the emperor in all realms of your life. And you're, you're needing to take a moment to unpack whether in each facet of life you're wanting to be. Love and light, make sure to check out our update for Mars retrograde in Gemini and how it will impact your sun, moon and rising. And very separately, we're live every Friday for the Twin Flame update. If you do want to get the Tarot deck, here it is again. Otherwise, I will see you for your mid-month updates and the Twin Flame. Take care, beautifuls.